going to a different economy, and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go. But clearly, we're, we're, we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations. We're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought. We're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're going to get di yuan digital wallets. They're going to receive digital yuan. They're going to use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're going to take it back to their own countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Welcome to the Crypto Teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that everything is planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Remember, those books are mandatory because they show you how the world really works. Also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love, keep it coming. And then also those who are shopping at both stores, much love, keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. As we can see, we definitely are moving up, but we do have some Bitcoin options that are going to be expiring tomorrow, over 500 million. But we also know that we're the only game in town, and plus they need Bitcoin on the fifth for collateral. So this is going to be a roller coaster for days. I'm letting you know again, make sure you're definitely paying attention to the actual indicators. $500 million is not a lot, but it definitely takes away from that open interest. Now, getting off subject a little bit, guys, I went over this on my actual stock channel. This has McDonald's as testing automated drive through ordering at 10 Chicago restaurants. So we definitely see that McDonald's made an acquisition probably a couple years ago. But yes, they're moving in that artificial intelligence. Hey, we know I have no problem with paying employees $15. Do they have a problem, guys? Yes, we know. Because they know they're going to move in that technology. So instead of you ordering from a person, now you're going to be ordering from AI. Guys, the plan is there. Wake your friends and family up. It's very important. If not, they will become a slave to the system. But getting back to cryptos, guys, it's very important that we pay attention to the actual indicators. Right now, as far as with inflows, we see Ethereum, Cardano, Ripple, Polkadot definitely are getting some inflows. Plus, guys, do not forget to pay attention to the actual indicators. We have volume, tether, USDC. Do not forget to pay attention. Plus, we have the Fed, which is very important this month, guys. Make sure you're pulling an app up. See how much money they're using to manipulate the yields. And then, plus, we know Janet Yellen's fund ends. And we have Grayscale. Grayscale lockup period is going to end at the end of this month or beginning of next month. And then also they've had that Bitcoin trust locked up this whole time. Now getting over into a little crypto news, guys. We have Ripple 6 documents from 15 exchanges, including iFinex, Bitfinex, and we know that is connected to Tether. Now guys, we know this Ripple lawsuit is orchestrated. It's nothing but a movie. This lawsuit is going to help bring in regulation, plus get rid of the 99% of these altcoins that shouldn't be existing in the first place. Guys, we have over 10,000 cryptos, which is out of this world, but because there's so much money, the Fed has punched so much money into the system, it allows them to flourish the same way we see stocks on the stock market, these shell companies. 
Now, also, guys, we have the ECB warns of risk to stability if central banks don't offer a digital cryptocurrency. Is that correct? Yes. Remember, they create the problem. They wait for the reaction. They run in with the solution. They printed all this money. They have no choice but to bring it digital. If not, we'll have inflation that will be out of this world. I don't care whether we don't have an interest rate or not. Inflation would totally destroy the economy anyway. And I'm talking about the global economy because remember, the globe still uses dollars. Now, we also have consensus has pledged support for the Uniswap governance proposal to set aside tokens for a new DeFi fund for political lobbying. So we see the same legacy system that we have now just being moved over to blockchain and tokenized. So I guarantee you the next time that we vote is going to be on blockchain. And we've discussed that in plenty of videos. Now we have Ron Paul says Bitcoin should be legalized as money and be taxed. And right now, do we transact in Bitcoin? No, we transact in dollars. And it's going to stay that way. It may be called stable coins or whatever it's called, but the central banks are definitely not going to give up their power. And Ron Paul, believe me, understands that. Now, we have search giant Google lifts the three-year ban on crypto exchange and wallet advertisement. And is this big? Yes. And why is it big? What do I always tell you about, guys? Image. When people constantly see it, they're automatically going to adopt it in the subconscious mind. That's how TV works. And if it's not there, out of sight, out of mind. Now, we also have Credmark, who was doing crypto credit reports, raises $5.5 million to create a platform for risk modeling DeFi protocols. Also, we have Anchorage plans to offer Ethereum-backed loans through FDIC-insured bank prof. And guys, we know these loans are definitely coming. The reason why, guys, not only because we're going to the bear market, but I'm speaking once we get into utility phase. Loans, fees, that's how the banks generate income. That is not going to change, guys. It's going to be tokenized and put on blockchain. And then lastly, guys, we have Paxful launches e-commerce tool for businesses to receive Bitcoin payments. And we definitely see adoption moving fast forward. But we know Bitcoin is just that distraction. We know Bitcoin Lightning is working behind the scenes, that second layer that's going to be moving these micro payments. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order book. Also, if you're new to cryptos, Coinbase, Bitchu, Binance, do not forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel. I uploaded a video yesterday, guys. Make sure you check that out. It's very important. Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming. While everybody's sitting at home, get that own stocks, the C-Word, the biotech stocks. And while everybody's at home getting free money and waiting on that free money, what are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and y'all have a wonderful day.